Hey everyone, it's Mr. Dave, and uh, for this video what I'll be doing is actually showing you some of the new uh, stream options that are available within uh, Motion uh, 4.2. Uh, so I'll start off by actually heading off to our documentation page. And we'll uh, be looking at the uh, live stream options and going in and uh, working on and illustrating some of these options here on what, what all does this uh, actually mean here associated with it. So uh, we'll need to actually uh, first off open up a uh, terminal here or um, you can use a mouse pad or whatever your editor of choice is here. And then we're going to head page down until we actually get to this one. Uh, I think in the previous video we were actually showing this one, so I'll actually turn off that for the moment. And um, we'll set up a couple of cameras here so, see what, so you can actually uh, see what's going on with this. And I'll just use the uh, standard uh, distributed ones here. Uh, one of the things that's associated with the uh, new version of 4.1 is that it allows you to actually stream all of the cameras on a single port. Uh, you no longer uh, are required to specify a different port for every one of the cameras. Um, you can still uh, set up a separate port for every one of the cameras, but it's not required. So for this particular illustration, what I'm going to do is actually stream all the cameras, camera one and camera two, on uh, port 8081, and uh, which is basically what it's indicating down in the section here um, of the documentation where you can actually specify the various ports. Um, so I'll save this. And we'll open this one up and specify 77, streaming channels 2, that's it. Uh, the camera ID is going to be actually required to actually know the camera ID because that's actually going to be used as part of our URL for this one. And yes, we'll just call this one camera 1. That one actually looks good. And then... It's actually going to go with the same camera. Associated with it. And uh, what we'll do is we'll actually rotate this one around 90 degrees so that we can actually identify that it is actually a different camera associated with it. And now we'll actually start up motion here. And we can head off to so we can see it's actually two different cameras actually coming in. And what you can see is that it's actually indicating camera one that's the camera ID up there as part of the URL is the 101. And the other stream is on 102, which is the camera ID associated with that one. So this all is coming out on port 8081, and you can actually just specify uh, the different camera IDs, and then um, specify the additional parameters associated with the various stream options. So uh, it has a stream. That's the full-size stream associated with it. But you can also specify substream as well, uh, which is going to be a very uh, half-sized image. And can't really see it very well in this particular one, so I'll actually go back and uh, pull up this one, which will hopefully be a little bit easier to actually see. Normally, you can actually see that 
when you reduce it down half size, a lot of the um, information uh, that you're actually putting in the bottom there is actually going to be uh, uh, minimized quite a bit. And then there's the current option, which is actually just a static JPEG and it does require a manual refresh in order for it to actually get updated so it's currently 21 there um, so now it's actually 35 so let's see with it and then there's also a option for uh, seeing the motion images uh, which indicates uh, and illustrates all of the spots in which motion is being detected this is actually the uh, second on the camera um, coming through. If I wave my hand in front of the camera, you can see all of the motion that's actually been detected as part of that uh, process. Uh, we also have available is the uh, source, um, which is the raw image that's actually being being fed in from the camera before motion actually applies any of the overlays associated with it. So this is kind of the raw image if you want to see it before anything has been blacked out for privacy areas or anything like that associated with it. So that's the various options as cameras up here. Now if we wanted to we could actually specify a different port for one of our cameras. And like we would do normally. Uh, so this would be how um, it's been done for years. I'm going to start it back up associated with it. So Do I have to actually disable this one? So this is on 808.1, this is on 808.2, and I just need to refresh this screen here, and that actually comes in associated with it. So this is uh, just actually specifying unique port IDs uh, for every one of the uh, cameras, and then the same options associated with um, substream and currents and all the other options would be available. Um, just off of this option here as well. And that's uh, some of the new features associated with the uh, streams under uh, 4.2.